Welcome back, everybody, to Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, as a recap, we're just kind of doing everything for Natsuki right now. Uh, parfait. Uh, we've already done things for uh, Sayori. We did that in the first few episodes when we were originally playing. Uh, if you want to go back and watch the rest of it, because we will be skipping a lot of the stuff that we are going to be doing. Uh, so... Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, good. Okay. I don't know which one. Fluffy. Okay. Hmm. Uh, ribbon. I say Nitsuki is probably the hardest one for me to actually uh, pick these out. But you think it wouldn't be that hard because you would think I would just say I've done these words for Yuri, I've done these words for Sayori, so obviously the ones that I haven't done are Nitsuki. But I still mess that up somehow. Um, strawberry? Okay. Um, lollipop, twirl, um, skirt, cool, um, rainbow, dang it, um, jumpy, cool, alright. Back on track, everybody. Back on track. Anime. Okay. Bunny. Uh, no. Sugar. Cool. Alright. Boop. Cheeks. Some type of cheeks. Cheeks always ends up with this right here. I have it highlighted, but we will move forward. Uh, clouds, okay. Uh, giggle. Um, no, maybe? No, 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 no. Color. Darn it. Um, bubbles. Last one, guys. Let's do this. We need to finish strong. Finish strong. Uh, melody cho chocolate. Yes! We finished strong. Alright. Skipping all this crap because we've seen it about a thousand times. We're just going to skip right pa- Oh, you just sound flirty. Hey you. Eh? I look up to see Natsuki next to me. Are you just going to sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't that much time, so... Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. I... it's not like I'm worried. I was just... Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. That's right. Something just came up for a minute, but we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, then just... Then you can just tell me to leave you alone, and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She practically mumbles that last part. Nah, I'm probably making it seem a lot like a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. S Sayori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she's seems pretty down today. 
but she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something's happened to her. Oh. Mitsuki exhales. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should just trust her a little more. If she needs you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she... That's kind of what she said to me. Maybe that's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it'd be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought of it that way from the start. Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hand. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh... Don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not! Jeez. If you're... If you're fine, then let's hurry and get this started already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's skip. Well, that was a very short skip. Sayori! Alright, skipping, skipping, skipping. Well, that was, that was the entire thing. Okay. Mitsuki. Let's see, let's see. You're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course. You know I like your writing. I'm just surprised. It seems like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. Well, well, of course. I just had to put you in your place a little bit. It's not like... I mean, it's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that. Or jealous. Oops. I really wasn't jealous. Just because you happen to be a good writer. That's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. Ha <laughs> Mitsuki. What? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Eh? W what are you talking about? My writing is obviously the best. Right? Should never have paused. You should have been like, yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. It took me a while to figure it out, but I think I finally did. Maybe Natsuki acts so arrogant because she's trying to make up for her own insecurities. If she acts like she's the best, then other people might think that way too. Right? Royce? Please just tell me you like my poems. She's very insecure. I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell me I'm the best. I just... I just really need to hear that from someone. I know I sound stupid, but there's a reason I never shared my poems before this. Mitsuki. Because... Because nobody ever takes me seriously. What's the point in sharing my poems if people just laugh and say that's... That's so cute, just like you, Mitsuki. Sometimes I don't want to be cute. But nobody understands that. Are you crying? You're crying, aren't you? Weirdo. I try really hard when I write. The style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't anyone see that? I just want... Suki trails off. Maybe it's because her lips started to quiver. I look down. Her fists are clenched really tightly. Hey, Natsuki. If you're not careful, you'll rip your own poem. I gently grab the poem with my own hand until she relaxes her grip on it. I place it flat on the desk and smooth out the wrinkles she put into it. 
don't read it. Before I can pick it back up, Mitsuki snatches the poem up from the desk. It's not any good. And I know you hate my poems. So you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. W why? Because. I like your poems. I really do. Why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is cr anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read you one of read one of your poems, I didn't look much into it. But I know you better now. And it's wrong for Yuri to think your style is more amateur than hers. And Sayori, she always means well. But sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry if that if I was part of that problem. I understand now. You're not just you're not just cute. You're a lot more than that. Uh Natsuki, you're doing it again. One once again Natsuki clutches her poem a little too hard. She looks down, hiding her eyes from me. I never realized how difficult this was for her. But finally, she f forces herself to extend her arms and set her poem on the table. You can read it. Just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. Okay, I will. Because you... Oh, this is a new one. I don't think I've read this one. Because you... Tomorrow will be brighter with me around. That's not how I thought it was. I mean, I just started reading. I didn't know how it was going to go. I just wasn't expecting the me. Because it said because of you. Anyway. Tomorrow will be brighter with me around. But when today is dim, I can always look down. My looking is a little more forward because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say it with a shout. But my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty because you listen to me. When something is above me, I reach for the stars, but when I feel small, I don't get very far. My standing is a little bit taller because you sit with me. I believe in myself with all of my heart, but what do I do when it's torn all apart? My faith is a little bit stronger because you trusted me. My pen always puts my feelings to the test. I'm not a good writer, but my best is my best. My poems are a little bit dearer because you think of me. Because you. Because you. Because you. That's sweet. I know what it was about. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. Why are you looking at me like that? Because I know dang well why you did that. You wrote that poem for little old me. If you don't like it, then just say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not that. I don't like it. It's just a little surprising to read. Or, I guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things coming from you. Don't just say that, dummy. What do you think the point of writing is? Expressing things that you can't just say. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry for missing the point sometimes. I always mean well. And I'm happy that you showed this to me. I liked it. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm a pro, so... Natsuki mumbles, completely falling to sound confident that she usually does. Just remember that I can think these things sometimes, too. You know, when you're nice to me, it's... Her eyes, I... Those eyes are just... Those are captivating eyes. I like those eyes. Meaningful. Uh, I'm glad. Sensing Natsuki is satisfied, I start to hand the poem back to her. But as I do, Natsuki takes my hand and pushes them back away. 
her small, soft hand surprised me with their with the with their assertion. I don't want it. Uh, why not? I just don't. Jeez. I realize what Natsuki is doing. Unable to be honest, she's trying to give me the poem in her roundabout way. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep it. Instead of teasing her, I choose to go along with it. Good. If you didn't, I would... Never mind. Just, I'm glad that you want it. Natsuki backpedals on her words and leaves it at that. Despite her best efforts to hide her expression, I can see her faintly smiling to herself. That's all for now, so... Go put it away before someone sees it, okay? Uh, yeah. I'll go do that. With that, I return to my seat so that I can put away Natsuki's poem. Who should I show my poem to next? I'm gonna do Yuri! Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with me. I guess if she changes her mind, she'll come to me. But I should leave her be for now. <laughs> Not even gonna share my poem, huh? Monica. Hi, Royce. Oh, skipping time. Aha. Sticking with Natsuki style once more, I see. Hmm. You really like Natsuki, don't you? Uh, that's... Oh, come on, Royce. It's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Pretending to like the manga that she's into. You, you know how Natsuki is? If I don't... In, oh. <laughs> That's not even how that would have been said. You, mean like, you know how Natsuki is. If I don't indulge her, she'll end up hating me. Eh? No, I think you're misunderstanding, Royce. It's not like Natsuki just hates anyone who doesn't give her what she wants. Yeah, she's assertive, but she's not that selfish. In fact, I think you're the only one who's indulged her as much as you have. Is that so? I kind of knew that, but I just didn't want to admit it. So, I just need to ask one thing of you. Be careful, please. Natsuki is kind of unpredictable. A lot of times she doesn't even know what she wants. After all, she's the youngest one here. She might not know how to handle her own feelings properly. What I'm saying is, if something bad happens, then it could end up damaging the club too. And you wouldn't do that to me, right? That's... I'm not sure how to respond to Monica. I wouldn't either, that just sounds really weird. While I care about her and the club, it's also kind of unfair to bring that up. Well, you're smart. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Monica smiles sweetly. Anyway. Oh, skipping time. I skip everything. Skip everything that I possibly can. There's lots of skipping. Because we have... Oh. But of course, I'm going to go with Nitsuki. And we're going to skip everything, because we've seen all this before. That's what we did with the Sayori one. Alright, this is... Oh, wow, we're just... We're just going to keep going, aren't we? Jeez. Skipping all the good stuff. That song always killed me. That song was always a, a tearjerker to me. Every time that song came on, I was always so... Ugh. We are skipping a lot. Jeez. We are skipping so much. Okay, uh, since I'm with Nitsuki, I guess I have to do this one, even though I hate breaking Sayori's heart. But Sayori... Okay. All right. 
So this is it. We're going to push forward from here. We don't have to go back to any more. So let's go ahead and just continue on. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, oh. Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. We've seen all this before. Isn't it kind of a breach of her privacy? But she really leaves me no other choice. Or no choice. I gently open the door. Say oh. And there's the image. Oh, I didn't realize that her fingers were kind of like, like as if she was like scratching. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, there is going to be some new stuff because I said that I was just friends with her, so there actually is going to be some new stuff to read, so I'm going to go ahead and keep reading. Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this could be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what, I'm, what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her... I know it's best, and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so s so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession. That has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. I'm s my swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now... I can never take it back. Never. 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 button real quick all right so things may start getting a little different from here on out because I've done what I've done so um, but I'm gonna stop it right here we'll continue this on at a later date um, thank you all so much for watching if you like what you saw and you want to see more go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to help the channel grow go ahead and share it with your friends family on facebook twitter or any other social medias and as always i hope to see you in the next one bye bye